But here's the question. Do all roads lead to Boris Johnson? Let's speak now to a man who knows him intimately well. In fact, we've got to thank this man for the existence of Boris Johnson. We're joined now by Stanley Johnson, uh, former Conservative Party politician. Uh, Stanley, great to see you. Eco campaigner, I should add as well. You care passionately about the environment. Um, Let's talk about uh, the events of the last two days. Is your head spinning? Yeah, I'd say my head is spinning and we have we have an election i've been approaching this from a slightly different angle than some of your contributors because i've been thinking well what am i going to do as a voter here because i have the you know honor to be a member of the conservative association of bridgewater and west somerset i don't know whether neil Parrish is still with you i hope he is neil's a friend of mine um neil actually lives pretty near Bridgewater, although he was MP for Tiverton. Now, that's a pretty onerous responsibility to be a, a voter. So I've been asking myself, well, of the candidates here, you know, oh, who am I looking at? I'm, are, are they, are they going to come for you? These are the people I want to vote for. And I've been saying to myself, well, if Boris does, you know, put himself forward, and, and your people here today have made it quite clear that nobody knows about that, I'm saying, yes, I think I'm, I'm you know, absolutely ready to, you know, to to put my kick across against his name when we get this electronic ballot. But that said, that said, Mark, I, I would apply to Boris as I would apply to the other candidates in this in this race. And we know two of them at the moment, but there may be others. I'd say, well, where do you start from? Are you starting from the 2019 manifesto? Because that would be my starting point. I want to know people who say we had a 2019 manifesto. We did get a massive Tory majority. Are you committed to carrying that out? Now, I'm an environmentalist, as you pointed out. So for me, I'd say, are you in particular you know, committed to reverse this train we've seen recently of the Tories being seen as the anti-nature party? And uh, I don't want to go on too much about this, but I think one specific question I would ask if I had a, if there was a Hustings, I would say to Boris, I would say to Rishi Sunak, I would say to Penny. Penny Morden, I'd say, are you 100% committed to stopping the progress of um, Jacob Rees-Mogg's bill to, you know, to cut back 120, 120 rules on the environment, 400 rules on something? Do you see what I'm getting at? So I'm, I'm, I'm actually rather naively saying to myself, what is it I want these candidates to offer? And, and in that particular respect, I think that Boris would carry, carry, would do well, but he would really need to say, I'm going to carry out the 2019 manifesto. We were distracted from our, our objective by, by a, a, how, should I, how should I put it, the Liz, the Liz Trust interlude, but now the time has come to resume the main path of progress. It's act two, isn't it? Uh, we've, we've had the, the, uh, the boozy interval and uh, Boris returns to number 10 potentially. Um, you know the man better than anyone. Do you believe that he will announce his candidacy tomorrow? No, I'm not going to speculate on that. I, I can't remember what the, what the timing is. I have a feeling that they have until, is it until Monday morning to, Monday to announce Monday at 2 p.m. Them? Monday at 2 p.m. is, is when the uh, support for, 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 uh, for uh, any potential candidate is, is, is counted. So Monday at 2, that's, that's D-Day. And obviously support is gathering for your son. Rishi Sunak's on 98 MPs. He needs 100. Um, the former prime minister is on 68 and growing. OK, we've got a developing story here, Stanley, which is that... Rishi Sunak has now achieved the threshold. He's uh, now in possession of 101 Conservative MPs uh, that are supporting his candidature to be our next Prime Minister. That's right. Rishi Sunak has crossed the 100 mark. Uh, 101 Tory MPs now backing Rishi Sunak to be our next Prime Minister. We've just lost the line to Stanley. Now, Stanley has said that Boris Johnson uh, may run. He cannot confirm it. He's not willing to speculate. Uh, Stanley has said, perhaps not surprisingly, that he will vote for his son because Stanley is a member of the Conservative Party and therefore has a vote. And uh, he will support his son if he goes for it. Uh, When we get Stanley, in fact, I believe we've got Stanley back on the line. So, uh, Stanley, uh, Rishi Sunak's quids in. If we're to believe these pledges... He's achieved the 100 threshold. 
Uh, the Prime Minister, ex-Prime Minister Boris Johnson's on 68. Um, do you think he really wants to put himself through all of that grief? Uh, he's been Prime Minister. He got Brexit done. He won an election. Uh, is he a glutton for punishment? I don't think you could say he's a glutton for punishment. I don't think you could say he's desperately keen to be Prime Minister. I think what he is desperately keen is to carry out the mandate which he was elected on in 2019. As I say, he was rudely interrupted. By the way, I don't, I, I ignore the kind of language which some of your contributors use about lies and dishonesty and all that sort of stuff. I would never throw those sort of words around. But it's not a matter of ambition. I think it's a matter of feeling he did make a campaign, he did make a manifesto, and he would like to carry it out other things being equal. And, and, and so that, that, I think, is where it is. And I would say, I would say, I mean, the image he is often used, I think, is, is of Cincinnatus. And as, as I recall, they had to send, send envoys from, from Rome to the countryside outside, in, 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 I don't know which part of, of Italy it was, and persuade Cincinnatus to leave his plow. Now, I suspect that Boris is not necessarily not necessarily going to throw his hat in this ring. I think he still needs to be persuaded um, to do so. And if it does, it's not out of ambition. I think it's out of a sense of duty.